Hey, I'm Alec, and today we're going to laser cut. Mad Hackers is your one-stop shop for all your digital fabrication needs, like laser cutting or engraving for beginners and advanced users alike. Today we'll be talking about the FSL Muse, which is more than capable at laser cutting and engraving cardstock, wood, cardboard, foam, and even acrylic. Now let's take a look at the projects we're working on today. The first is converting a 3D model, a deer head, into a format that the laser cutter can then take and create a bunch of different pieces we can glue back together to recreate that 3D object. The second project is going to be engraving on some of the Matter Hackers project wood, which is a really high quality wood that'll look really nice once we've engraved it into a custom sign. The third project is creating a custom packaging solution for a Nintendo Switch controller. We're going to cut out a sheet of foam that's going to go in a case and it'll hold the controller really nicely so it's not shaking around within it. Now let's get to it. For our first project, we'll be converting a 3D model of a deer head into something that we can laser cut. We're going to use a program called Autodesk Slicer. Now that program's not designed for 3D printing, it was actually built for laser cutting, because what you can do is take your model, convert it into a bunch of flat images, and create something like this, where it's a bunch of stack layers, or you can create something like this, where it's a bunch of interlocking pieces that go together and slot perfectly to create your shape. Now let's start creating. I brought in the deer head model into Slicer and made sure the cardboard settings were correct in here, and then that was able to process out the cut lines that I needed for this 3D model. I could then take the cardboard and cut it out into the size I needed that would both fit into the Muse and what I put into Slicer. And I had my full stack ready to go, just had to drop it into the Muse and make sure it was square so I had nice cuts. Then I went through and started working with Retina Engrave to make sure all the sizing is right, get rid of any background images that I don't need a raster for, and make sure that the power for the cut lines are at the right intensity. Now I knew all the settings were right because it would go through and do a cut and all the pieces would pop out once I removed the excess. Then I was able to take out all the separate pieces, lay them out by number, and do a glue by number. Just follow them along, putting a 46 on top of a 45, 47 on 46, and just doing that for every layer that was in this deer head. For our second project, we'll be laser engraving a custom sign for a Matter Hacker's hex tile wall using some of the Matter Hacker's project wood, which is available in white maple, cherry, and walnut. Let's get to it. I started out by measuring the rough dimensions of the piece of wood, six inches by 11 inches, and then doing a rough sketchup of what we'd want this to look like, having it say Matter Hacker's community hex tile wall and some graphics here and there. Then I dropped that into the Muse and made sure it was square. I used the little 3D printed puck for a height adjustment of the laser took another snapshot process to get a representation of the wood within the software, brought in the file that we needed to actually raster and etch out of the wood, and there you can see it's all finished and looking nice, did some little speed and power adjustments to get this to look nicer once we're actually laser engraving it, and we did do a couple passes to get this to come out a lot darker and look a lot better. For the last project, we'll be creating a custom case for Nintendo Switch controller. Now this piece of foam that I already had is textured on one side, which I wish it wasn't. I wish it was this on both sides, but it's what I have to work with. So I'm going to cut this out into the shape of our controller so it fits snugly inside the case and doesn't shake around. Let's get to it. I laid the foam into the Muse and did another height adjustment, with this one being just barely at the limit of what the Muse can cut through. Jumped back into Retina Engrave 3 and brought the vector file in of the Switch controller so that I had a good, easy cutout and did a little modification to the size to make sure that it was just the right fit for the Switch controller. Then I created two little circles on the side so that my fingers could easily get underneath it and pull it out without having to squeeze underneath the foam. Then I did some editing to the vector settings, start cutting out, and there we go. One pass, and that's three projects done. Laser cutting has a lot of potential for a ton of different projects, and Matter Hackers has all the materials and equipment you need to get those projects done. Stay tuned for the next week in build. I'm Alec from Matter Hackers. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you like that, give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with all the big builds, how to's, and troubleshooting guides I'll be working on. And don't forget, check out matterhackers.com to explore everything 3D printing and to join the community.